So, hey guys, sorry if the quality's bad, I'm using an iPhone 5S. Anyway, here I'm going to talk about sneakers. So, everybody wants to know how to get their uh, sneaker collection up. Well, I really started pretty small. Like, I've always been like in love with sneakers since I was little. My mom's always gotten me Jordans and all that type of stuff. But, let me tell you what... I've been doing for like the past couple of months and like what I've gotten over the past couple of months so or years of my life and months so to start off with we got yourself some Nikes I don't even know what these are called <clears throat> these I had I've had since I was like nine years old nine years old or something ten years old they're incredibly comfortable they're a really good sneaker to start off with. They're like, everybody uh, would love these. Like, they have a good design. Not like everybody would have them, but I, they're a good design. So, I started off with those. Then, if you want to get into skateboarding, just classy type of stuff, get yourself some fake vans over here. I don't even know what this is. This is our, uh, what is it called? So, um, great creative secret secretations or something like that whatever what whatever they are um and they just look nice they look <clears throat> decent and <clears throat> they're just pretty cool sneakers like if you want to get your sneaker collection like these aren't that much money these are like 60 80 bucks uh and <clears throat> you got another pair right there and they're good to just wear out and not have to look nice all the time. Uh, let's start off with some school shoes that I got last year. Uh, I got myself these. These are some Adidas Crazy, I think 28. Sorry for like the bad soles. Uh, they're a very durable shoe. It's a basketball shoe. It comes with this type of uh, sock in it for <clears throat> for the shoe. Like it's uh, switchable. I have a couple more, but I just can't find them at the moment for this video. But yeah, if you want to get a shoe that looks cool, go for go for Adidas. They have some cool sh cool shoes that um, get the Stan Smiths. Uh, everybody loves the Stan Smith. Okay, if you want to go. <clears throat> I consider these like bootleg Jordans. If you want to go like bootleg cheap Jordans, this is where you go. You go to all the flights. Uh, I don't know which pair of flights these are, uh, but I thought they looked cool. I saw a bunch of people wear them, and I was like, might as well. These start to get, uh, when you start to get to Jordans, it starts to get really high in prices, like not that high but over budget to the point you have to save up a little bit uh these are like 120 bucks 100 dollars and i got them with my uh godmother she got them for me thank you and <clears throat> if you just think about it like if you want to get your collection up buy a bunch of these it's just 100 bucks a piece buy yourself some air force ones i got myself a couple air force air force ones but I don't have them at the moment. They're at my mom's house. Uh, sneaker sneakerheads don't only have to be about Jordans, basketball sneakers, and like Vans and all that. They could also be classical shoes. Like these are like a good thirty bucks right here. They're thirty, forty bucks right here. You could go anywhere in these. You could rock them out. Probably dirty them as well. I don't know. They might not be the most comfortable shoe, but they're definitely good with suits and all that. I wore these to prom last year. Uh, everybody was astonished by my outfit in these. Uh, I don't think anybody cared what shoes I was wearing at the moment, but it didn't even matter. I still looked nice. <clears throat> anyway, uh, to keep on going with the collection, I think this is also a collection video. Uh, I'm just going to keep on going. So, to add on, I got myself some Converse. I got these uh, in October of 2015 uh, for a costume. I was <clears throat> Jack Skellington and 
Converse are a classic. They used to be a basketball shoe, not anymore really. They're more of like a skater shoe, a uh, classy shoe. Uh, but if you want to be a sneakerhead, you could go and get yourself some Converse. Converse are a really nice shoe. Uh, they're 60 bucks, 50 bucks, 70 bucks. The most I've seen for Converse is around 80 to 90 bucks, which is not that bad. It's a lot less than Jordan's. But if you don't want to be spending that much and if you want to get cool looking shoes like Nike and you, you don't really like Converse, get over here. You got yourself some SBs, SBs, skating shoes. Um, I consider myself a skater, I skate a lot. I got my own skateboard. I'll show it in this video, but uh, it's whatever. I'll probably show it in another video. Uh, and SBs are really nice. <clears throat> They're comfortable. They have this very soft tissueing in here. Like, I don't know what to call it. Uh, sorry for my uh, for me being unprofessional, but like it's really just soft in the inside with most of them uh, They have a really hard gripped sole because they're for skateboarding and That you could always switch them out with laces. They usually come with like multiple pairs of laces So you can switch them out with almost all your shoes So these would be a good pair of shoes to collect with um, Going on to some of the more hype stuff that I got <clears throat> I got myself uh, one of my favorite shoes and like one of my most proud shoes that to have is uh, my Spizike Oreo, my, Sp my Spizike Oreos. Uh, these came out a little, like two years ago. These came out two years ago and they're around like 140 bucks uh, with the price go uh, gone down. Uh, bef like before they're 160 170 and <clears throat> these are like a uh, memorable mem memorable shoe to me because like I had these when I was little I used to wear these uh, I rock them out they're dirty uh, they're dirty and my little brother wore them and my little brother after that wore them but yeah these are a really good shoe you could skateboard in these as well and it doesn't even crease that much the the thing is that this is a combination of almost a, like with almost all the good parts of the jordan like you got the part of a six which makes it so that it's loose up here you got this five look if you see this right here right here it's like a little part of a five you got this part of a six right here you got this little part of a four because only the fours have this little bubble right here. <clears throat> and then you got the elephant print. You got the elephant print right here going all around with the little dots, kind of like a three, which is all the good parts of <clears throat> the Air Jordan, of Air Jordans in my <clears throat> specific range that I would think of. Uh, if you want to go after some Jordans, these are a good these are a good pair of Jordans to get. Um, that's how I got my collection a little bit off. Uh, but these are the recent pickups. Like I've been really get going into like <clears throat> high price Jordans. I got these. <clears throat> I got these the Chrome Eights. Uh, they came out a little bit after. Uh, the Aquas came out. The Aquas came out around uh, September. Uh, not September. They came out around <clears throat> uh, December, around when uh, Christmas was around. Uh, Christmas was around uh, in 2015, and I got these like two months or so afterwards. They're really nice shoes. They, I think, in my opinion, they're better than the Aquas. Uh, the leather on these is amazing, but the thing is that they're one of the lower priced uh, Jordans, which is 190 That might be a lot for some people, but 190 is <clears throat> better. It's better than paying than 220 or 250 or 400 for like the pair of fours with snake skin on them, which I personally don't find attractive. <clears throat> uh, to get into my most recent pickup, as you might have seen, 
in my other video. As you might have seen in my uh, recent video, uh, in my vlog three video, I was just wearing these. Uh, it's the statue nines. Uh, they're really beat up because like I've just been wearing and tearing them out. Uh, because I just love all white, like I love almost all white sneakers or all white sneakers a lot. And these are uh, one. Uh, these are originally one ninety. Uh, one hundred ninety dollars, but I got them for one fifty or one thirty, uh, because uh, no one was picking them up at a certain store downtown, uh, in t around Times Square, around Thirty Fourth Street. No one was picking these up. I picked them up. I was like, might as well. Everybody at school wanted these. Like, if you want a pair of sneakers, you have to get these. You have to get you gotta get yourself a pair eights, nines, sixes, fives. Those are where the real sneakerheads are at. But if you can't afford that, it's always good enough to go get yourself some of these. Like these, you could be a sneakerhead off this. As long as you have like more than ten pairs of shoes, I would consider yourself a sneakerhead. Like you could get yourself a bunch of these, you're a sneakerhead off oh, for Converse. You could get yourself a bunch of these, like off-brand sneakers. Like you would still be a sneakerhead, in my opinion, if you had like more than ten or twenty of these shoes. <clears throat> it just depends on what you want. Uh, and yeah, you don't have to pay that much money to be a sneakerhead or just like want to collect sneakers. If you want to collect sneakers, then fine. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, that's just a little bit into some of the shoes I have into my collection. Uh, I got a couple more shoes, uh, some other places uh, that I just can't get to right now. And uh, I hope this video just gave gave you some uplifting. It gave you some information how like what you could do to be a sneakerhead, and that it doesn't just take <clears throat> uh, one pair of Jordans or like you have to get Yeezys all the time. Like Yeezys are expensive right after they release. Like. <clears throat> If you want to get a pair of Yeezys, go ahead. If you love them, fine. I personally cannot cop them because I don't have enough money for them. Uh, but anyway, if you like the video, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, my name is Johnny23, Johnny T. Anybody knows me. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.